Do we have faith in me? It's debatable. It's debatable. <laughs> Hello friends, how are we doing? Today we're going to be reacting to my summer book haul from a year ago and seeing how many of those books have I actually read. <laughs> this is something I like to do, or you guys ask me to do sometimes, like react to a haul from a year ago, see how many of those books I have read in a year. And I was saying to my patrons, I always do like a post where I say what the videos this week are gonna be. And I was saying to them, like half of me is filled with just utter faith in myself. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have read loads of these. And then the other half of me is like utter doubt. Like, no, Megan, you're gonna have read none. <laughs> So I don't know, I just think this is a fun thing to see, to see how many of these books have I actually read. Am I reading the books when I get them or are they languishing on my TBR? Which is entirely possible because there is like 230 books on my TBR. Dear God, it's a problem, it's a problem. <laughs> That's not normal. And I think, you know, you should maybe get some help or something. For me, over half is positive. If I've read over half the books I hold in a year, that's not a terrible turnaround. So shall we just get into it? Let's see. Place your bets in the comments now and then see how right or wrong you were. <laughs> the first two my grandparents gifted me, yeah. out of the blue, they just decided Aww, to get me some books, which was so kind of them. Oh, I do have to say, we have got, I'm not gonna try and pick them up now. <laughs> We've got three fairy loot boxes to unbox. What lipstick am I wearing now? Cause I feel like I quite like that, but I don't know what that is. What am I wearing? <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, yeah, my grandparents gifted me two books out of the blue, which was just so kind. And they're new releases that I'm super excited about. So first we have Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta, which I haven't read Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta. Oh, no! <laughs> haven't read it, really want to. Love The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. I think I'm scared off by how chunky it is, but like, I know it'll be a quick read because it's told in verse. This one's about like a guy who's like, he only gets to see his boyfriend on the weekends, but he starts like catching feelings for this other guy. Messy, mess, mess, mess. And then the other one is one of my most anticipated books of the year, and it is Siren Queen by Nemo. Isn't she so gorgeous? Oh, let's not talk about it. <laughs> Haven't read Siren Queen by Nemo. Another one, another book I would love to read. Am I doing that? Apparently I'm not. I wish that I could just disappear. I haven't read Chosen the Beautiful, I haven't read Siren Queen, I haven't read Into the Riverlands. I'm behind on my Nevo, like, reading. I love everything I read from Nevo. Like, I just, I think her writing is so special. But I have not read Siren Queen. It's a book I look at a lot. It's a book I look at a lot and think, oh yeah, I should read that. Oh, yeah, I should read that. But like, I don't even know if I'll be reading that this year, to be honest. <laughs> Why are there so many books and so little time? I wish I could be the kind of person that reads 30 books a month. I've never done that. I think, what's the most I've ever read in a month? Maybe like 18? No, seven, I don't know. I'll pop on the screen, the most amount of books I've ever read in a month. I wish I could read even more. I average about, let's say 13, I think a month usually is kind of my average. Come on, this is this video has got to get better. And then one of my lovely subscribers and patrons, Rachel, gifted me two books. I did a vlog Ooh. where this book app, which I love, called oh, Novel, what's coming? What I read, I and I discovered this book by Frances Harding, Boom. which turned out to be one of my favorite books. <laughs> Skin Full of Shadows, one of my favorite books I've read so far this year. And Rachel gifted me the other two Frances Hardings that I put on my wish list after I read that book. No, we're off to the most terrible of terrible is starts. I haven't read either of those. I'm. So so sorry, Rachel. <laughs> I haven't read any more Frances Harding yet. I now own Unraveler as well. Is that it? Or do I own another one? I feel like I've accumulated so many Frances Hardings and then I haven't read any more since A Skin Full of Shadows and I feel terrible about it. <laughs> Guilty, the guilt is eating away at me. I loved A Skin Full of Shadows when I read it. Frances Harding has a very like fairy tale like whimsical, beautiful writing. And I know I'm probably gonna love some of her books. She could become a favorite author for me, but I haven't read any more. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Ooh. So I have four books here that publishers have sent me. What should we talk about first? Oh. I know what we're talking about first. Arguably my most anticipated release of the year. Of the I rest have to of have read year, whatever this is. Which I need to read, but I want it to be in a vlog that does well. 
I want as many of you to see my opinion on it as possible because I know I'm gonna love it so I want to promote it so I'm trying to think of a vlog idea that will get a lot of views so that I can promote this book a lot uh, and I haven't thought of it yet and it is I'm the girl by Courtney Summers thank fuck okay I have read one book I have read I'm the girl listen I don't need to talk about my love for Courtney Summers because you already know. I'm the Girl's a very, 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 very difficult read. I feel like lately I've been like recommending Sadie to people without fully <laughs> preparing them for like how painful and horrible it is. But like arguably I think I'm the Girl is even worse and you really need to be in like a good place to read this book. So look up trigger warnings, really look up what the book's about. But I feel like yeah, I've been making a lot of people read Sadie and they're like, this is the most emotionally crushed I've, crushed I've ever been by a book. Like multiple people have said this to me either via DMs or on my patron discord, one of my patrons read it and I'm like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Maybe I haven't been like preparing everyone for like how horrible this book is. <laughs> I think I had the girl even worse, but listen, I will let Courtney Summers put me through anything in her books. Then we have <gasps> When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill. Yeah. This is already out. The other, the other I have read When Women Were Dragons. I read that last year. Oh, <laughs> well, we're looking up, guys. We're gonna do great. We're gonna do great. Those first four books are gonna be the only books I haven't read in this in this whole thing. <laughs> sure, Jan. When Women Were Dragons. I really enjoyed. It. I think I gave that like a four point five. I really enjoyed When Women Were Dragons. It's just set in the nineteen fifties, and like all the housewives just rise up and become fucking dragons, and like all these women become dragons and like slay queen dragon. You know, that's a really bad. <laughs> but I really enjoyed that. So far, the books that I have read, I have enjoyed from this haul. Then, oh my god, I love this arc so so much. We have Book of Night by Holly Black. Yeah, I haven't read it, guys. Well, I have read it. But uh, whatever I just said about having enjoying all the books I have read from this vlog ends here. Because <laughs> Book of Night, hot trash. I think I gave that a 1.5. Dear God, that's a bad book. That like some books I rate low, right? I give a two star and I'm like, say Daughter of the Moon Goddess, right? I was very disappointed by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I think I gave that 2.5 though. But like I can rate low and I can recognize other people can love this. I'm really sad I didn't love this. I'm sad it didn't work for me, but I can understand how this book could work for other people. Book of Night. She's not gonna go there. The plot, mm -mm. the characters, mm -mm. the writing, mm -mm. it was my first Holly Black and I'm not rushing to read again. I, here's the thing, there are two books on my TBR, I've been thinking about this a lot for some reason, that I have owned for a very, very long time. They're now some of the oldest books on my TBR. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and uh, A Call of the Roses by Sarah J Maas. And I bought them when I first joined booktube and everyone loved them and I was like, okay, these are the books I should buy, right? I still haven't read them. And I don't feel a deep desire to read them. I don't feel a deep desire to ever read Sarah J Maas. Cool Prince doesn't necessarily, you know, call out to me. But like, I don't wanna unhaul them in case like I have to read them one day. So they're just kind of sitting there, they're like semi unhauled. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna voluntarily read them, but I just hold on to them in case I have to. Yeah, Book of Night wasn't it, but I've read it, so who gives a fuck? And then finally, we have got The Comfort Book by Matt Haig. There's an interesting story behind this. I don't care what the interesting story is, Megan. Have I, <laughs> have I read that? I think I've read that. I think I <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember, love. I don't remember at all. I really don't. It was an awful long time ago. Did I read that? Oh, I gave it four stars. Yeah, I've read that. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. I'm so sorry, Matt Haig. It was quite special. I think it's like, oh, these are things to... It's like not a proper book. It's like quotes and phrases and little excerpts of like thoughts about how life is wonderful. Yeah, I don't remember it. But I've read it, guys. We're four for four now. Gosh. So I went to Waterstones and I bought quite a few books. <laughs> the first I? one I picked up was Wild and Wicked Things by Francesca May. Well, I've read it. <laughs> I've read it, but one of the worst books I've read this year. Mm. This was a book club pick for my patron book club and as much as I hate reading the book, this was such a fun live show because we have a discussion live show for all of our book club picks. And we were all like sitting there and we were just trying to make sense of what this book is. It's pitched as 1920s, 1920s, Great Gatsby-esque, sapphic, 
witches on an island. That's like what it's pitched as. It was bad. And the plot, ew, it's meow, it's like it's the plot is all over the place. <laughs> it's a great description. The plot, oh my gosh, we were like, people would keep reminding us on the live show, like someone would mention something, and the rest of us would be like, oh my god, yeah, that did happen. Who let that happen? <laughs> it's so bad. But I've read it, so I don't care. Okay, then I picked up a mystery which I have been. I've been really tempted by for a long time and I was like, you know what, Megan, let's go for it. <laughs> I picked up Death and Croissants by Ian Moore. So <laughs> I read it! <laughs> this was another patron book club. This one was a bit a little bit better received, but like we're quite picky customers on the book club. Like, you know, it takes a lot for us all to kind of agree that a book was like four stars or above. We haven't had many of those. <laughs> but yeah, this is like a cozy mystery. I'm not continuing on with this series. It was like a three just about for me I didn't love it I didn't think it was a great mystery um it's pretty blah to me gosh I wasn't buying very good books for myself the next book I picked up particularly because of one of my patrons Shanice read it and really enjoyed it we've got A Fatal Crossing by Tom Hindle <laughs> guys I fucking read it I've read it didn't love it but I read it I am so proud of her I could cry this one wasn't bad. I read this on my video where I read Murder Mysteries Set on Cruises on a Cruise and <laughs> and it was fine. Um, Tom Hindle I'm not gonna read again because then, since then I've read The Murder Game by him and I gave that one star. I just don't think he's my flavour of Murder Mystery which sucks because he's like one of the you know main authors coming out in the UK with like kind of Agatha Christie-esque style murder mysteries, but I just found the characters pretty bland. It's very forgettable. So yeah, I didn't love it, but I've read it. And then I have another book, which I believe is set on a ship uh, and it is Dangerous Women by Hope Adams. Okay, yeah, haven't read Dangerous Women. I bought this for that vlog specifically, reading Men Mysteries, Set on a Cruise, blah, blah, blah. but I didn't end up reading it in time and I don't have a ton of interest in the book. I just bought it because it was a book that fit the theme and then I didn't have time to read it because I was on holiday and I was busy. So I didn't read it and now it's just languishing on my TBR. So this is another one I'm not like particularly looking forward to getting to anytime soon. I'm still, you know, I still own it. I might love it, but it's just kind of sitting there on my TBR. <laughs> I have The Winchinger Mystery by Anthony Berkeley. I've spoken about this a lot, so I won't go on about it too much. Go Megan, I have read it. I really enjoyed The Winchinger Mystery actually. I did a whole video solving it. I love doing those videos, it's so much fun. I'm gonna do another one soon, because you guys have requested it. Not gonna say anything more. But yeah, I love doing these videos and it was just a sun, it was a really fun, a mystery to kind of like try and solve in that video but I'm interested in reading more classic crime classic murder mysteries I would like to branch out from just Agatha Christie I'd like to read some Dorothy L Sayers I've never read anything from Dorothy L the, 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 from <laughs> you know your mouth just like refuses to keep up with your brain I've never read anything from Dorothy L Sayers but I would like to read more classic murder mysteries other than just Agatha Christie. So I really enjoyed that one. And then just some books that I've already read. I won't speak about these too oh. long. We have- I'm gonna count it. <laughs> and the Rook by so say James and Daniel O'Malley <laughs> respectively. Well, they're going on the counter. <laughs> they're in the book hall. I have read them. <laughs> The rules don't apply. Oh, it does sometimes happen with book hauls because I only do book hauls when I've hit like 20, 30 books that I've hauled. So we've got a substantial amount to talk about. And sometimes, you know, I read a book before in between hauling it and doing the video, but it counts. <laughs> Yeah, these were books, are oh, classic, books that Mara recommended me in her episode of Book 2 Twin Test, which I feel like goes down in history because she is my Book 2 Twin, she got three five stars. And I would, I really need to continue on with the Rook series. That's the series I would really like to continue on with, but I've read them, they're both five stars to me. Oh, so good, so good. Mara, I feel like I need to do another Book 2 Twin Test with Mara because I just need Mara to pick my TBR forever. Apart from our one biggest Biggest, I'm not sure I can ever like forgive her for this. Biggest difference is she gave the Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter. I was looking at the Goodreads. She'd already told me that I didn't love it. I went on Goodreads. I was looking at the Strange Case, you know, Goodreads like I do. Sometimes I just look, see what people are saying. A profound silence has entered the chat. Can we be book two twins then? I feel like that that prevents that. Maybe Marshy's to admit she's wrong on that one and then I can think it. 
And then I did another video where I read seven books. Well, that was a fun video. That was my first doing like seven books in seven days theme Pet videos. In that, I, yeah, but I read it. Yeah, I didn't love Pet. I liked it, but I feel like everyone loves it, and I didn't love it, you know. But I liked it. I liked it. My number one highlight that I have gotten is undoubtedly Yerba Buena. In the past few months, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. I this is just amazing. I loved Yeah, Brennan Brandy the Court. It's such an interesting romance. It's between these two women. One is a bartender, one's a florist. I guess it's a little bit similar to Normal People by Sally Rooney and in where they keep coming in and out of each other's life. But like, I hated Normal People and they annoyed me in that. Like the miscommunication, the like, oh. Whereas that, I didn't have the same problem with the Ebba Brenner. But um, yeah, read it. <laughs> I just mentioned Simone St. James and how much I love the Broken Girls. I did get a copy of the Book of Cold Cases, which is her 2022 release. I have read it. I have read it. We're doing so well. That was a shaky start, but like we're doing well now. Yeah, I've read a Book of Cold Cases, read this in my Goodreads Mistress Driller Awards, reading the top 10 video. I enjoyed it. I mean, it is, uh, those books I had to read so quickly and a lot of them were similar right so it is a little bit lost in the haze <laughs> of that video I'm hoping I'm really gonna try and give myself like as long as possible to read the books this time because I was kind of in a rush last time and I don't I didn't need to do that to myself but I did really enjoy it and I think Simone St. James is a is an author for me I love her speculative dash in all of her mysteries I really enjoy that that same month one that keeps interesting me is tell me everything <sighs> which is non-fiction true story haven't read tell me everything I think that's on one of my TBRs this year either the 2023 TBR or the 24 book that I have to read for 20 before I turn 24 which is like the end of January in 2024 so it's like basically I have to read it this year or in January next year I haven't read tell me everything Hmm. Yeah, I am still interested in this. It's like a private investigator memoir. I've, it looks really good, but I haven't read it. And I haven't really heard anyone speak about it. So I'll just quickly mention them. We have Breathless by Amy McCulloch. This Ooh. is a thriller. Haven't read Breathless. It's a, it's a thriller. I'll read it at one point. It's like an isolated thriller. I'll read it. But I don't know. I've been having some not good luck with like snowy isolated thrillers when I should love them. But like some of them haven't been my favourite. Like Shiver. Didn't love Shiver. So I've been a bit scared off a little bit, I think. And then we have The Hacienda, <gasps> which is a like horror. Read it. <laughs> I've read The Hacienda. I really enjoyed this one. It's a gothic, you know, kind of similar to Mexican gothic. You've got like a uh, woman moving into her new husband's home and the weird stuff going on. It's a horror. I really enjoyed it. I really want to read more from this author. Vampires of El Norte, I think, is the release this year. And I'm like, oh yeah, come on, Isabel. Come on, Isabel. <laughs> give me vamps. Give me I'm loving vamps. I'm loving the resurgence of vamps. Give me more vamps. Give me, give me vamps. Give me vamps. Give me, give me vamps. Okay, then I think the last section, we have got three fairy loot boxes. I'm going to be honest. Chance of me having read these books is not great. I'm not great at reading book box books. Ooh, <laughs> it's the Stardust oh, Thief. I haven't read the Stardust Thief. I know a lot of people have really enjoyed this. It's a fan, well, of course it's a fucking fantasy. This is fairy loot. Dum dum. <laughs> but I have heard really good things. It is still on my radar, but you know, I don't really know what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> an Arrow to the Moon by Emily X. Oh, okay. Pan. I haven't heard of this. Yeah, An Arrow to the Moon. I decided I wasn't interested in this, so it is unread, but I have unhauled this one because it just was, you know, sometimes with book boxes, I was lucky enough to receive Fairy Loot for a while. Sometimes you just get books you're not as interested in. What's the other one? Oh, Blood. I'm going to mispronounce this. Blood Scion? No, I haven't read that one either. And I think I unhauled that one as well. I think I gifted it to one of my patrons. Sorry. <laughs> haven't read it. What is the last book? Tell me I'll have read this one. <gasps> this is one of my most oh. anticipated releases of the year. It is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio. It is beautiful. Haven't read it, but that one is still on my TBR, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. I still want to read that. Okay. Let's just talk about the numbers, shall we? Because it's all I care about. <laughs> so I have read, counting, according to her, my calculations. I have read 14 of the books that are in the book haul and I have not read 11. Now we got let down by Fairy Loot a little bit at the end, but listen, <laughs> I am happy with that split. Having read 14 and not read 11 is not bad considering I've also unhauled is it two of those. I've unhauled two of those. So I've only got nine of those books still on my TBR from, uh, from this initial book haul. So listen, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. <laughs> we did it. Yes, we've won. Yes, yes, yes. 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 yes
That's better than I thought I would do. That's better than I thought. Was it better than you thought I'd do or did you have faith and you knew I would do well anyway? I hope you had faith in me. Did you have faith in me? <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun to go back and look at the books that I hauled a year ago. It reminds me of some that I really need to get to, like Siren Queen, Only on the Weekends are like some that like are top of my list, like need to get to. God, there's so many books so little time, isn't there, guys? I'm just like looking at all my books. I'm like, when am I gonna read all of you? <laughs> I just like wish I could read, like, I wish I could do nothing but read, but alas, I have to edit things and like do other things in life. We should just read all the time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was, it's always fun to look back on the books I was buying a year ago, see how many of them I've read, see how many of them I actually enjoyed. There was a little bad stretch there with Wild Wicked Things, Book of Night, there were some rough ones. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye.